Hey y'all, today we're making these super crispy potato wedges and we're gonna make them in the oven. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need, obviously, are potato wedges, okay? Go ahead and get your oven preheating to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I'm using just regular russet potatoes. Some people say to use like the more waxy potatoes, like a yellow potato, but I find that these work just fine, so use whatever kind of potato you want. I'm gonna use about four decent sized potatoes, okay? Cause that's about what it'll take to fill up my little cookie sheet that I'm using. So make sure that you wash your potatoes real good, scrub the outsides. I like to leave the outside, I mean the outside, the peel on my potatoes when I make potato wedges, or a lot of times even when I make french fries, but you know, I don't know that I've ever seen a potato wedge without the skin on it, but I mean, I guess if you don't want the skin on there, you could just, you know, cut it off, peel it off. But um, you're just gonna cut them in half, and then you're gonna just cut them in half again, and then you're just gonna cut them sort of at an angle to make the little potato wedges. Y'all can see what I'm doing. But it's super, super simple, and these taste so good. Now, like I said, we're gonna do these in the oven, but you can also do these in the air fryer, and you can obviously deep fry these if you want to, but I just wanted to go the oven route because it was just a little tiny bit healthier, you know? I'm trying to do better, I tell y'all. Yeah, I'm trying to tell y'all every time that I'm trying to do better. So I thought, I really want a potato wedge, but I don't really fry anything at my house, so oven it is today. So once you get your potatoes all cut up, you're gonna pour in some ice water, okay? So I'm just using the really cold water out of my refrigerator, you know, like the filter on my refrigerator, the ice thing, and I put some ice in there too, just to make sure they were nice and good and cold. So I made sure all my potatoes were covered with the water, and then I let it sit for about 30 or 45 minutes and then we're going to drain this. If you soak these in ice water before you cook them, it's gonna make your potato wedges get a little bit more crispy, okay? So once you have drained off your water, I drained it and then rinsed them off, so if any of that little starch was floating around, I would rinse it off the potatoes. And then I laid them all out on a paper towel. Now, if you feel like that's wasteful and you don't wanna use a paper towel, then use a kitchen towel. Use whatever you want but I laid them all out because now we want to get these dry because this is also gonna help to get them crispier and all the good things that you love about potato wedges. So I am just patting them off and then I thought, you know what, I'll just pick them up and just kinda make sure all the water is off of my potato wedges. So that's the way I did mine, but like I said, you can do yours however you want. If you have time to just let them drain for a little bit longer, you can, but you know how potatoes are. The longer they sit out and they're exposed to air, they're gonna start to turn brown. So you don't wanna let them sit too long. So anywho, once you get your potatoes nice and dry, put them back in your big old bowl, and then you're gonna drizzle on some olive oil. This was, I don't, obviously I didn't measure, I don't know, a couple of tablespoons. You just want enough in there that your potatoes are gonna be coated in oil because we want our seasonings to stick to our potato wedges. And again, this will help with the crispiness of your potato wedges because nobody wants a mushy potato wedge. You want it to be crispy on the outside and just the right amount of mush on the inside, you know? So now we're gonna season them up a little bit. I am gonna use my favorite, you know, my favorite little go-to. I'm gonna use onion powder, garlic powder, some paprika, and some salt and pepper. Now you can use whatever kind of seasonings you want. If you like a little bit of kick to your potato wedges, add a little cayenne pepper. If you have a seasoning blend, like a Kinder's or something like that, that you just love, then put that on here. You can put whatever you want to, and if you don't like a lot of extra frou-frou on your potatoes, <laughs> then you can just add salt and pepper. You can make these potato wedges be whatever flavor you want them to be. That's what I'm trying to get across to y'all, okay? 
But if you don't know what to put on them, try the stuff that I put on there. Garlic, onion, salt, pepper, and a little bit of paprika. Once you get your seasonings in there, you're going to mix your potato wedges all around because you want to make sure that all of your potatoes are coated in the seasonings that you just added. And because we dried them off and we added a little oil, your seasoning should stick to your potatoes pretty good. Now, if you leave them wet, a lot of times you're going to have an issue with your seasonings kind of sliding off your potato. You know what I mean? It won't stick as well. So make sure you put that little bit of oil in there and that you get them seasoned really good. And if you mix them up like this and you feel like you need to add more seasoning, go ahead and add more seasoning. However you want to do it, they're going to turn out fantastic, okay? So that's what they look like when we get them all seasoned up. And then I'm just going to take a cookie sheet or baking sheet, whatever y'all want to call it. I lined mine with some parchment paper because the last time I cooked, I know they sell like a non-stick aluminum foil, but I've never bought that. I just kind of buy the cheap stuff. And the last time I did potatoes in the oven, they stuck to my aluminum foil even after I sprayed it with cooking spray. So maybe it was a me thing. I don't know, but I just thought to be on the safe side, I just used some parchment paper, but you can use whatever you have that your potatoes won't stick to, okay? Just arrange them in an even layer. Leave it, you know, don't overlap them or anything. We're gonna put these in a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for a total of about 45 to 50 minutes, but halfway through, we're gonna pull them out and we're gonna flip them all over. And that way, you can make sure that both sides of your potato wedges get nice and crispy. If you don't flip them over halfway through, you're gonna have the top side that's super crispy and the bottom side is not gonna be as crispy. You know what I mean? So like I said, just halfway through, you know, about 20, 25 minutes in, flip them over, put them back in and then let them finish cooking. And this is what they're gonna look like when they come out. Y'all, I, I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I love me a good potato wedge and I love one that is crispy on the outside and just soft on the inside and sometimes it's hard to get that when you're baking them so make sure that you follow all the steps like the you know wash them good soak them in ice water dry them off real good and then make sure you add your oil and all your good seasonings and you should have some perfectly crisp wonderful flavorful yummy potato wedges okay you cannot go wrong with these. You can just sit and eat these in bed, or you can make these for a get-together. All right, that's all I've got for y'all today, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye, y'all.